We have new developments today on the timing of a hearing for Greg Kelly. It's currently set for the first week of August. But today, the DA says it may now be sooner. KV Defender and Austin American Statesman reporter Tony Polhetsky is in the newsroom with why. Tony? Well, Mike and Terry, it's because of new information DA Sean Dick says law enforcement continues to get in this case that may work in Greg Kelly's favor. Dick told me just a little while ago, quote, the tips we are getting make it even more compelling to try to do it more quickly. Both sides are talking about ways that we can move more quickly to have the hearing sooner. Now, in that hearing, Kelly will argue that he was wrongfully convicted with sexually assaulting a four-year-old boy in 2013. We first reported last week that prosecutors have confirmed an alternative suspect in the case, Kelly's friend, Jonathan McCarty. McCarty is in the Williamson County Jail on unrelated charges, but has not been charged in this case. Kelly has maintained his innocence and told me in a prison interview yesterday that he thinks police unfairly targeted him. He has served about three years of a mandatory 25 year sentence, but there are some key factors in getting that date moved. First, they have to look at the court schedule and both sides must also make sure key witnesses are available to testify. Mike and Terry. All right, thanks, Tony. And tonight there will be a rally at the Williamson County Courthouse in support of Greg Kelly. It starts at 8 o'clock. We'll have more on that rally coming up tonight at 10 on KV News Night Beat.